Social media make more harm than good. What a killing, what a killing, what a killing full of strength, full of everything. They just they just died like that. One mother won't see a fat or a cause way, a tobacco muni out for cup rubbish. A cabo a cabutelli fenina, a cabo a cana corabisha, kunura, china can never buy a luno. 
So guys, Junior Pope has been laid to rest. They've done the final burial rites and everything. A whole lot of people were there. Actors, actresses, they showed up. And also his family, his friends, his wife and children were also there. They've done, they took him to church. You all have seen the video. They've done all the necessary burial rites. And let's talk about Junior Pope's wife. We know since his death, people have been trying to like drive a certain narrative towards her saying, oh, she was not married to Junior Pope before his death. They had misunderstandings. That is why she left the ass, blah, blah, blah. See, different rumors have been coming up online from different people. Everybody that has an opinion, they just want to say something concerning her and her late husband yes and the major rumors that has been flying is that she had misunderstanding with her late husband and she moved out of the ass before he passed away. that when he passed away uh, the wife was no longer living with him in the same as they had issues and all when i heard that story i was like okay but during Adana's explanation, yeah, Adana, that is the lady that produced the movie that took his life. During Adana's uh, explanation, when he was talking about ah, he gave Junior Pope the work and everything, Adana mentioned, she said that it was even Junior Pope's wife that called her, saying that, oh, you people are no longer giving my husband job, this, that, people should remember my husband, uh, find work for her, those kind of stuff. That is what Adana said. She said it was that call from the wife because it's apparently she and Junior Pope's wife, they are friends. She said it is that call that made her say, okay, let me use Junior Pope for this work without that knowing that it is going to end up like that. So how did the wife, how did Junior Pope's wife manage to call Adana asking her to give her husband a job if they had misunderstanding, if they were not living together? If they have issues, fine, couples, they can have misunderstanding and all that. But the way people are saying it, like, oh, she moved out of the house of the rent. Already they were not speaking this, that. If they were, like, really, really in bad terms like that, she wouldn't have called Adana, telling Adana to um, um, give her husband work. Now, nah, I'm not going to give my husband, find work for my husband, those kind of stuff, like the way Adana was saying. So I don't just understand the narrative. They are just going to like uh, question the wife, this, that. The wife should not inherit his house. The wife, forgetting that the wife has children, like very little children for him. So with her, uh, though she was just like telling the public that people should stop spreading negative rumors about the widow. And she thinks that social media has done more harm than good. I don't know because the way the thing is going, it seems like they are trying to do to uh, Junior Pope's wife what they did to Moba's wife, late Moba's wife. Yes, that is what I think because I don't see why I don't the, the, the kind of narrative they are trying to drive at. It is giving same thing. Maybe later on they will say, oh, she needs to do DNA test for the children. I will not be surprised if it gets to that. I will not be surprised if it gets to that, that, oh, she should go and do DNA test for the children. They think the children is not for the late Junior Pope. Maybe it's for his friend or this, that, or this, that. Because one of Junior Pope's friends came out, um, think lately the other time, saying that 
Junior Pope told him his story, like Junior Pope wanted to tell the world his story, yeah, but he stopped Junior Pope and Junior Pope was like, oh, if he, if, if he, if he dies, um, his friend should help him tell the story. And now that Junior Pope is dead, he thinks it is right for him to like tell the world the story. Yeah? So I don't know what they are just trying to do. They've divided from what took Junior Pope's life. And now they are moving to the uh, wife. The wife should do this. The wife should do that. The wife was, so we even say the wife was cheating on him, this, that. The wife never loved him. And when they were married, when he was alive, he never mentioned anything negative about the wife. He never showed any negative sign between, between uh, him and his wife. So I don't know the narrative they are trying to drive at. Though um, Rita, I know she, she is telling them to die that narrative. They should not just bring it up. They should allow the woman more her husband in peace. They should allow her bury her husband so that her husband can rest in peace. And apart from that, uh, Zubi, Zubi Mainke was there, like he came to show support. Some actors and actresses that claim to be like very good friends of his, they were not seen there that claim to be very good friend of late Junior Pope, they were not seen there. They were nowhere to be found. They are just online talking this, that are blabbing, yada, 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 this, that. The day of the burial, they were nowhere to be found. But others really showed up for him. They showed up, they were consoling the family. The mother was crying, obviously. She would cry. The wife was mourning. And the children, they were just there. She was even carrying one on her hand. See, it is really a sad story. That story, it's really a sad one. But finally, he has been laid to rest. Rest in peace, Junior Pope. So that is all, guys. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, like this video, share, and comment. Thank you.